Welcome back! And uh, welcome to part 2. In this part, I will be telling you what server side, shared, and client side is. And we will make the, the main files for our game mode. Uh, yeah, let's open paint. If you've ever played Garry's mod, which you probably have, and you've joined a server with a new game mode that you haven't seen before. Uh, when you do that, you will enter a loading screen and you will download the files for the server. Uh, the, ser the files that you will download from the server are these two. It's the shared files and the client files. These are files that contains information about the heads-up display, the HUD, and um, menus and yeah all kinds of yeah, interaction direction parts the shared files normally have settings and functions that both the server side need and the client side the client side means the, the player that is playing on the server a player is a client the server is uh, the dedicated server that you're hosting on your computer or any other computer but the clients are joining the server the server side files uh, are running functions for example the inventory uh, we don't want the inventory to be handled on the client side because then players can just find the files inside their garris mode folder and edit their inventory that's why we need to keep stuff like that on the server side so people joining your server won't be able to interact with it. Uh, we will get back to this later. But basically, the server side files are the files on the server and only on the server. The shared files are the files that is sent to the client and also included on the server side. And the client side files are the files that only the client will need. That is sent from the server and included on the client side, but not included on the server side. <laughs> I hope that clears a little bit, but we'll see. You'll understand this later. Anyway, let's start off by making the basic main files. So let's start off on the server side. The server side main file is called init. Dot Lua. And it has to be dot .lua, not dot .txt. If you don't see the extension dot .lua or dot .txt when you make a new .txt file, text document, you need to, if you're on Windows 7 that is, press Alt, Tools, Folder Options, View, and Untag this Hide Extensions for Known File Types. It has to be untagged. Okay, then you will see the extension and make it .lua. Open the file. Let's see, I got it on my other screen. There we go. And first of all, since we're on the server side, we need to tell the server what files to send to the client, the player that is joining. The function that handles this is called add cs lua file. So it means add client side lua file. And this will make sure that the file is being sent to the client. If you forget to do this, the client will crash. The player trying trying to join your server will be kicked from the server. Because he doesn't know what to do with the client. If he doesn't have the client side files. So, uh, add client side lua file, cl underscore init. That's a file that we will make for the client side. And add cs lua file lua file uh, shared.lua that will be the shared files for our server and clients uh, we also want to include the shared.lua because the server needs the shared file too because it's shared a bit between the client and the server so that's enough for now then we make the shared.lua This file will contain the information 
that both the client and the server need. For example, the name of the game mode. Oh, it's uh, yeah, it's a value, and that's called uh, example. I believe this name will override the name we put inside the txt file, example.txt, in the main root of our game mode. Uh, this name, I mean. So, if you edit this to, for example, herpderp, herpderp will be displayed as the game mode in the server uh, browser in Gary's mode. Author will be you, but I'm gonna put NA there, because I'm awesome. But uh, what's the next email? Yes, I'm gonna put NA there too. And then we have uh, GM uh, website. Here we go. Uh, yeah, put anything you want there too. Doesn't matter. It's basic information about the game mode. I believe there are more um, values like this to edit, but uh, these are the basic ones. We also need to include the base class. You don't need to understand this, we only have to do this once. It's just to keep uh, trouble away when we're coding. The gm initialize function is called every time the game mode is started on the server. So to include the base class we need to run it when the game mode is first starting. To do this we do a self .base class initialize like this, I believe, and then the game will itself inside the brackets, uh, the arguments. I believe this is correct. Let's hope so. Um, and that's about it for the sir the share .lua. So we will exit it, and then we will start making the client side lua cl underscore init dot lua yes we want to change it and in this file we will we won't have that much we will only have one line for now that is to include the shared dot lua so when uh, all the files are sent over to the client we can share and we can include the shared dot lua file and I believe everything is ready for now. Yes. Uh, and next time we will be making the basic functions. I will also put out a tutorial on how to download a Garry's mode beta dedicated server. So we can start testing our game mode. So see you then and goodbye. May the bro code be with you.